Okay, everybody. Here on my channel, I like to use logic. Instead of using complicated scientific stuff and studies and statistics, which only keeps people arguing, over here, there's no argument going on because I don't leave any door open for arguments. My channel focuses on health, diet, and veganism, proving all the time why veganism is the only way to go and debunking every other thing I come across. And the veganish people who usually watch my videos should be interested in this video. Vegans tend to get so narrowly focused on veganism that they are just restricting their influence on the, to the world. You have to get more into politics. You have to at least know what's going on. And when you do that, then you'll realize you need to vote. And that's one of the reasons we have Trump right now. And today we're going to have a little departure because I've got an exclusive here. I can prove that Trump is guilty. No one's done that yet. FBI, CIA, who may try to prove it in the future. And all over the internet, you'll find people having arguments using certain data and arguing over that data. Well, they're not going to be able to argue over this. Just like I do in all my other videos. Here we go. Why Trump is guilty. Now, you're probably asking, what is he guilty of? Well, I'm not even going to get into that because it doesn't actually matter. I actually don't know what he's guilty of, and no one else does. Well, maybe a few people. And in a minute, you'll realize why it doesn't matter if I even know. Okay, going back to the day it's when we found out that when Trump met Comey, the director of the FBI, Trump expressed that he wanted Comey to, to ease up on the investigation, not just of Flynn, but of the entire investigation into Russia. So everyone's focused on Trump trying to affect the procedure of the FBI. That could be an obstruction of justice, which could get Trump impeached. That would be huge. So everyone's focused on that. And no one's focused on one simple fact. Everyone seems to be overlooking this. Looking at the mindset of the person who is taking this action. Getting into the mind of Donald Trump. He would like to stop the investigation. He acknowledges this. He has even said, that whole Russia thing, it's a ruse, a fake news. But we should be asking, why would he want the FBI to stop investigating? There could be a security breach caused by Russia. He has a big cabin, many people. We don't know what's going on, and we couldn't even imagine it is a mystery. So Donald Trump wouldn't know either. If he was really innocent, then he would want this investigation. If you put yourself into the mind of an innocent Donald Trump, he would want the investigation. He's saying, and he's acting like he knows there is no crimes going on when he couldn't possibly know. Which means he does know, and he wants to cover it up. Almost every action he's had concerning Russia is to cover up something. And his entire cabinet. They tried to stop Sally Yates testifying. Why? It's because she had something to say. Almost every action he's had is to cover up something. And so many more examples. Too many. Too many examples. If you don't know what they are, you have not been watching the news. Or not watching the right news channel. Yeah, I tune the Fox every once in a while. Yeah, they don't go into such details to try to make a good case for it. Because it goes against their own agenda. And it's interesting that they're one of the only news outlets that Donald Trump hasn't called fake news. When they've been proven in court to have done fake news. Trump gives himself away. He does this a lot. But you have to be able to recognize the signs. He reflects what's really going on in his mind. And while saying Russia is a ruse, he is showing that what's on his mind is trying to convince people that Russia is a ruse, even though he would have no idea. He had no idea about Flynn or There you go. He tried to cover up investigating of Flynn 
who ended up being a security risk. He lied about his meeting with Russia. And see, Trump didn't want to find that out because he already knew he was even warned about Flynn by more than one person in the past. By actually trying to stop the investigation of Flynn, Trump was actually showing that he knew about it. And if he knew about it and was covering it up, he was probably a part of it. And now look back at history here and to see if Trump has done anything that would seem to be in collusion with Russia. Most of his cabinet is doing the same stuff as he is. They're denying things they wouldn't know the answers to, and they're answering questions that weren't asked. Oops. When Trump talks about there's nothing going on, he's thinking about himself as if it's all about him. But that's not what's mostly being talked about. We really don't know, and the FBI and the media isn't focusing on Trump as being the person at the center of the scandal. So, he's actually projecting the fact that he is at the center of it. This is so clear. <laughs> and I like to make predictions here. I've made quite a few and done pretty well to show my high intelligence. I predict Trump will be impeached or he will resign like Nixon. He seems to be following everything Nixon has done, like it's a playbook of his. And this will happen within two and a half years. And history is going to show that this video was one of the most important videos on YouTube at this time that everyone should have been watching and sharing. This video has the potential to go viral because of its huge revelations. And if it goes viral, that will bring a whole bunch of new people into my channel to see my vegan videos. So get sharing. And it was good that I took a few days to get around to making this video because now do you notice? that no one's talking about that day anymore, that story. Because now, <laughs> they're talking about the nut job quote, and by the time you see this, <laughs> I haven't watched the news today. So they're probably talking about something else now. No matter what happens, everyone stops thinking about it, talking about it within two days because of something else that happens.